Thank you for joining me for another hand stripping video. In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step how to hand strip the body on long leg terrier. So today I'll be hand stripping um, Sky, the Irish terrier I prepared in my previous video. For detailed technique, you can check this video. And today I will describe how to systematically hand strip the body, how to handle the dog, and even how to deal with tricky area or like the back end. So I hope you enjoy it. In this video, I'm going to use these three hand stripping knives. Um, as you can see, this one is quite old. Um, I would say it's almost vintage. <laughs> it's one of my favorite knives. And the beautiful things about hand stripping tools is older they are, better they are. So uh, if you buy a good quality hand stripping knives like these from Lonsdale, handmade in Germany, they will last you for a very, very long time. And older they get, better they get. I'm also using a bristle brush hand stripping chalk, soothing antiseptic spray, just in case I find any skin irritation, and a calming floral spray to keep Sky and me nice and calm. So the neck and the back are the easiest parts uh, to hand strip because it's easy to handle the dog, easy to stretch the skin, uh, easy to position yourself. So just remember when you're stretching the skin, do not pinch the skin, just hold the skin, push and hold. Then we lift the hair, grab the hair between the knife and uh, thumb and pull with direction of growth. So we hold in the, uh, our hand close to the body like this. So this is the movement we're doing. We're not pulling the hair up even though sometimes it feels easier, it's not good for the coat because the coat would grow curly, it will grow up. We're working systematically, so we're not just jumping all over the body. We start from the neck, carry on over the withers towards the back and the tail. Good girl. So this is the close-up, this is the area I just hand stripped, not very big, and this is the amount of hair I got out. So the back is now hand stripped, now I'm going to do the side of the neck. On the side of the neck, the coat is going down and slightly forward. So this is the direction of hand stripping. Um, this is the way we have to strip. Uh, when we come to shoulder, the coat is again growing down. So we will change the direction again and then we'll strip, to <laughs> good girl. Then we'll strip towards the uh, elbow. So again, I'm using a little bit of chalk. It will help me to grab the coat. So it's starting just behind the ear, stretching the skin just behind the ear, grabbing a little bit of hair and pulling out. Again, we're holding our hand close to the body. I'm stretching the skin. She doesn't need the nose actually now. Stretching the skin on the other side of the neck. So when we come to this area, we will strip down and fold. So going down and forward. So 
now you can see the close-up uh, I finished the top of the neck and the back so this part is hands free you can see the difference in length and also the difference in the color so you can see where I stopped good <laughs> where I stopped over here and on her tail and now I'm going to hand strip her tail. Hand stripping the tail can be a little bit tricky because it's not always comfortable for a dog so if the dog wants to sit let him walk around the dog. Uh, also on the tail there is a gland or gland here and usually in this area the coat is uh, quite thin um, almost bold so you can see the patch and when hand strip it may obviously leave a bold patch so uh, if you're doing a, a client's dog it's good to tell them this this may happen also some dogs may have a reaction to it hand stripping so i would recommend using soothing antiseptic spray after hand stripping this area so again i'm using a little bit of chalk knife and the way you hold the tail you're actually stretching the skin because the skin is already stretched pretty well on the tail we just try to um, hold it comfortably for the dog just take a little bit of hair at a time don't rush and work systematically Hand stripping the bottom side of the tail can be a little bit tricky. So there are two ways how you can do it. You can hold the tail in this position, twist your wrist and hand strip uh, from the base of the tail towards uh, yourself, towards the tip of the tail. Or you can lower the table, hold the tail up and hand strip up. Because the coat is growing this direction, this is why we have to uh, hand strip in this direction. Um, if you uh, hand strip in a pet dog and really the dog is not keen on it, it can be clipped uh, with 7F or scissors. However, if the dog is shown, then it would have to be hand stripped. Just taking a little bit of hair at a time because we wanted to make it I wanted to make it as comfortable for her as possible. Because she is stripped on a regular basis, she doesn't have much cold here, which is really great. This is why um, regular hand stripping is beneficial not just for a dog but in the cold, but also it make your life easier as well. If needed, you can use belly strap, so it will be easier for the dog to stand. Hold the tail up and just take a little bit of hair at a time. So now we came to shoulder and upper arm. When we hand strip in the shoulder here, we can stretch the skin easily on top of the neck. But when we come to upper arm, it's a little bit difficult to stretch the skin. So a very good position is to place your <coughs> um, hand in the armpit and stretch the skin from inside like this. So we hand strip um, the shoulder, upper arm, down towards the elbow. So now the side of the leg and shoulder, upper arm are <laughs> hand stripped. Now I'm going to do the rib cage and the side of the body. 
Um, when stretching the skin, if you stretch your skin on the back, most of the dogs are tempted to sit because we put in pressure on the back. So a very um, easy way to stretch the skin is when you do it from behind. So my hand is here, if you can see. So I'm holding the skin and pulling down and it will stretch this part of the uh, body. Yeah, so you can stretch the skin here or from the other side. Now we're going to, you can see the uh, coat is growing backwards and slightly down. So this is the direction I'm going to hand strip. Uh, Irish Terrier doesn't have skirt. They don't even have hair in taka. So I'm going to take all this down. They just have a little bit of hair between the front legs, which I'll do when I do the legs and the front. So all these going to be stripped. So again, stretching the skin here, working systematically, pulling about this much hair at a time, good girl. The side of the body is done, now I'm going to finish the uh, back leg, apart from the furnishing, so I'm going to strip the top of the leg down towards the knee and the back uh, side of the back leg down to the hock and then I'll strip the back end over here. So you can see on the back leg the coat grows uh, slightly down and backwards so this is the direction how we're going to hand strip again we can stretch the skin on the back however most of the dogs will be tempted to sit so you can use a belly strap if you need good girl or you can stretch the skin from the inside like this or here or here Again, we're using the bristle brush, a little bit of chalk, and let's go. On the back end, you can see the coat is growing in different directions. So this way here, they go up and it curls. So this is the direction we'll have to hand strip this part of the body. These areas are very sensitive, so you have to be, you have to take your time and uh, good girl. And just take a little bit of hair at a time. You can do it with a thumb and finger as well. <coughs> good girl. So you can see here now, uh, this area often comes uh, very thin. Uh, you can see the skin. So if you do it for a pet, um, you need to warn the customer, the owner, it may happen. And also most of the pets, they're not very keen to have this area hand strip, so you can clip it with 7F. Now you can compare both sides of the body. So the back is hand strip, this, this side is hand strip, and this one is still long. So you can see the length of the hair and the density. So even though when it's flat, um, it doesn't look, you know, she doesn't look as hairy, but when you lift the coat, you can see 
it is noticeably longer. So in this video, I show you how to hand strip the body, the jacket. So on Sky, I demonstrated how to hand strip neck, back, the back end, the top of the leg, rib cage, side of the neck, shoulder, and upper arm. And this is all the coat I hand stripped today. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to do the front, how to strip the head and have to style the leg. Basil essential oil with its sweet, spicy, slightly green aroma is to be considered as one of the finest remedies for the brain. It clears the head, relieves intellectual fatigue and gives the mind strength and clarity. But not only that, Basil has also antispasmodic uh, properties, therefore beneficial for the relief of sinus congestion, bronchitis and whooping cough. So just put a five to six um, drops into your favorite oil burner and enjoy. Thanks for watching and remember, keep calm and keep aromatherapy.